Wow, look at this. <laughs> it's siesta time on a Thursday afternoon in France. Uh, most Mediterranean and, uh, you know, North African countries do siesta because it's appropriate for the climate and it is very healthy. I mean, I have to make a business call and since it's siesta time, I, I really won't uh, do it until a, a little bit later. You know, he needs his lunch and, you know, <laughs> a little rest. And then I'll call him and do the business with him. So this is November, what is it? I don't know. 14th 2013 and I'm being interviewed for blog talk radio today um, and I have to remember to be here by the phone we did the test call yesterday and the man who is contacting me is an old friend via YouTube in fact I named his channel it's called rich voyages and I'll put that in the description. And he's doing something, uh, I think it's a new channel called Travel Autour. And he is very interested in travel and in talking to expats. You know, people who left wherever they were and, as I did, took on a new a new life in a new culture, new legal system, new country. I've been in France for 20 years and look at that stuff go. This is really autumn. You know? These trees are going to come down soon. Ah, they don't look too good right now. But they've been my friends, you know. I'm one of those nuts who's convinced that trees and plants and stuff like that are, are sentient and sometimes I can hear them and I can see how they're behaving and tell what's going to happen with the weather. Actually there's some scientific fact behind that so it's not just completely kooky. Whoa, I think that nest over there might come down. It, it's really, it's, it's pretty cold out, it's pretty nasty. It, seems to be gray and rainy every day here, which is really normal for Paris. It usually does not rain all day. That's very rare. And the weather is very changeable. So, you know, if you get up in the morning and, and you want to go on a picnic and you see that the weather looks terrible and it's raining and stuff, don't cancel the picnic. Just, you know, take take something waterproof to sit on and stuff and the correct footwear and all that but it it could be cleared up you know an hour or two later you know you never know and if you want to have a picnic and you and you get up uh, and you see that it's a beautiful day with a clear sky and you know it's it's sunny and pleasant and you're gonna go uh oh you better prepare for, <laughs> for the rain and everything <laughs> It's very, very changeable. It changes direction uh, many, many times a day. It's not unusual. That is not unusual at all. So, I, I, he said BTR. I said, what's that? He said blog talk radio. And I, I was kind of, I kind of laughed to myself because I'm just so out of it. See, this building is getting more and more empty. More and more people are, are moving out. Some of the windows are just completely open. There's nobody in there. It's not just people airing out their apartments. Somebody carelessly left a window open or didn't close it properly. This will be taken down at some point. I don't know when, though. The other buildings are gone, and there are new ones in the back, but I don't know. Oops, somebody got double parked down there. <laughs> That's so annoying. So it's cold and wet and a lot of you guys are like you've already had snow in the in the United States and other places it's already gotten really cold in the northern hemisphere. In the southern hemisphere things are going differently, oppositely. All right, I'm going to close the window. I was just airing out the room. You know, we have to do that a lot here. It's it's a French 
habit, you know, they'll they'll frequently take the bedding out every morning and air out the bedding and and uh, properly make the bed and air out every room for 10 minutes no matter what the weather usually first thing in the morning you know if it's breezy and you get a cross current in your house or apartment because they don't really do they don't do sash windows here those are called guillotine they don't do that they, they open inward and they can slam and break I don't know why they don't do sash windows it's just, they just don't do it So you, you have to get doors that you can, you know, firmly close or only open one part at a time. <laughs> I was annoyed. The, the architect of my building still lives upstairs with his old wife. And I said to him, why the hell didn't you put something in to fasten these windows? And he said, that is a problem and it was an oversight. Yeah. At least I got to berate him politely about it. All right. See you later. Blog Talk Radio. Rich Voyages. Travel Tour. Lisa Falour, your expat, signing off.